Welcome, friends, to another Rolling with Ian video. And as you can tell, I'm back at the St. Lawrence Market, Farmer's Market today. Uh, I, you know, tried a couple times to film here, but one time I was having some technical problems, and then the second time it was basically closed for the day. Everyone was packed up. So I'm getting third time's a charm. Palm. See now they've closed off Market Street as they to make it pedestrian only. So before we go inside, oh no, we'll do that on the way back. Uh, let's go inside and then, uh, then we'll check out the street market afterwards. Thanks. So let's go over to this aisle first. Of course, one of the things that everyone has is Ontario strawberries and raspberries. I'll probably get myself some raspberries today. Oh, and some flat flowers. It's a little crowded in here. Thanks. I was looking at those tomatoes. They have a different color to them. I'm not sure. They're purple. That's a great shirt. Thanks. <laughs> Reds and so as you can tell yeah the, the variety of uh, offerings down here is quite um, wide and uh, there's also a lot of people here and it's a little bit uh, excuse me yeah this, this may not have been a good idea to come in here look at those sausages Riddle. Ontario peaches. Just wind down each of the aisles. So there's a lot, you know. And not, not everyone has the same products, but I see a lot, you know, Ontario peas, Ontario peaches. Oh, some eggs. Both brown eggs and white eggs. Thank you. Some nice tomatoes. And see, I think some people, you know, they, they should have some uh, things on the floor saying a directional. Because you think it's one way up, one way down. But guess not. But you get the idea. This is, this, you know, what uh, you see it here at the lower market. Oh, look at that. Sweet corn. 75 cents a cob. You can't get it any fresher than that. See, I always like those tomatoes. I think they call them um, heirloom tomatoes. The ones that are different colors. Oh, look, there's blackberries, raspberries. Some bok choy. Eggplant. Different flavors of olive oil. Oh, a bunch of teas. More corn. 
Corn seems to be the uh, popular thing. Maybe I might get some corn and figure out a way of cooking it up tonight. See, again, there's just these sort of purplish uh, tomatoes. Garlic. Okay, so The only problem these days with uh, farmers markets is uh, there's these people called resellers. They're not actually the farmers. They just go and they buy it from like Ontario Foodland Terminal and, and then they set up and say they're a farmers market. I mean, they're a farmer from a market and they're not. But, you know, maybe, the, uh, maybe they do a better job at, uh, you know, making sure that they're legit farmers here. But, oh, look at that. Maple syrup. I do not know what those are. There's some sort of squash. Purple uh, cabbage. And that's some colossal garlic. I do want to get some, some bulbs of garlic and, try and uh, you know do the stuffed garlic as I've done in the oven but instead try it in the uh, in the air fryer look at the lineup for this for these meats Excuse me. So yeah, it's I'm gonna step out of here. It's getting a little bit too crowded in there for me. But now you've seen the what it looks like. It's oh, by the way, it's uh, it's about 9:30 in the morning. According to 10, actually. Okay, so outdoors, they've got a lot of the same products. <clears throat> oh, look at that puppy. Oh, you're a beautiful looking puppy. Yes, you are. You're a beautiful looking puppy. Yes, you are. Oh, blueberries. Yeah, I don't know. Is that an onion of sorts? That's a big onion. Then. Holy crow. There's no sign saying what they are. Those are some sort of I think they call those gourds. Uh, some sort of um, melon, not melon, um, squash. Oh, I see a lot of uh, sunflowers. So I guess sunflowers are in season. And then across here <coughs> are flowers. And more sunflowers. So I think we're gonna let's go check out the clothes set <coughs> the clothes section of Market Street now. Not gonna be, try to make this too long of a video, but uh, I do wanna show some places along here. Get a little feel for what's going on. I don't think I'm going to go inside the uh, North Market uh, today, but uh, I will, you know, do a little bit of out and around. Next. 
So I'll squeeze through here. And yeah. So there is a a movement for what we want to make this uh, make Market Street permanently uh, pedestrian only. But I do have a little, you know, think, you know, I don't think that it's, you know, it's it's going to really cause a lot of problems with these restaurants and getting their deliveries because, uh, you know, this is the, there is no back lane for them to be getting through. But the other place is the LCBO. Like it brings it in through the side back side door here. They couldn't just sort of, uh, you know, say, nope, forget it. Or, you know, we have to load it through the front door because it's going to happen. Thank you. And see, <clears throat> I don't know how the grocery pickup is going. Because usually people leave their stuff there, go get their car and come back. But without uh, being able to bring their car down the road, I don't know. Alright, well, as I said, I wasn't making a long video. I just wanted to revisit some place that I'd been before and uh, bring you along and hopefully I did a better job than my previous attempts. It's, wow, they're really, they're finally built, the building's coming up a little bit. What, that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be the new <clears throat> North Market or North building for the St. Lawrence Market, but I believe there's, uh, it's a four, four story building as well. There's other, what else is in there? Um, I think I've read courts, but you know, it's not a big courthouse. I don't think so. Anyways, so as I was saying, I want to thank you for rolling with me today. You know, and hopefully you'll come back and roll again with me soon. And in the meantime, keep rolling. Oh, don't forget to, you know, smash that like button. Give, leave me a comment and uh, share. share. Let, let other people know that you know, you like my content. Okay. Have a great day. And keep on rolling. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and smash that like button.